Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this kind of stunt scenes in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2, nice. So now let's select everything in this default and by pressing A on the keyboard and in. So now let's start this by creating a ground plane. So go to this add mesh select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling of the plane. And also let me increase the scaling in Y axis. So let it be here like this, okay. So now let's add our boxes. So go to this add mesh select cube. So select the cube, press Z, Z, hold control key and lift it above so that it will be on the plane here so make sure it is not intersecting or passing through the plane so let me place this just about a bit here like this okay nice so now let's add a wood material onto this cube first so click on this shading tab and add a new material so now select this principal bsdf and press ctrl press t for node wrangler and by the way if you are not enabled node wrangler go to this edit references and in add-ons look for node so by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and we can close that after that select that principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t for this node angle so from these nodes we can select any other wood material so i will add a wood material onto this cube so let me select a wood material so here i got this wood material so i think i will add this one and open it so here you can see we got that wood material applied onto that. So X scale I will increase this to 3. So now let's adjust the UA. Press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Press A to select all the vertices or faces. Now press U and select this smart UA project and hit OK. So now press tab to exit this edit mode once again. So I think this is better. And let me increase the X scale to 5 and Y scale to so now this is looking good now let's move back to this layout so instead of duplicating these cubes we can use a modifier so select the cube come to this modifier options add modifier and add array modifier so count let me increase this to five so here you can see this is x-axis right so let me bring a distance between these x-axis so i'll make it 1.01 .01. make sure we got some difference or we got some distance between these cubes so here you can see we got this five box or else let me increase this count to eight and let me place this here like this okay and let me duplicate this one so click here and duplicate it so now instead of this x axis let's change this y axis value so i will change this x factor to zero and i will increase this y value to 1.01 .01. so now we can see we got this cubes added in the x direction but count i want only two so that we will have only two rows and let's duplicate this once again click here and duplicate this one so now instead of y let's use z axis so let me change this y to zero and y 1.01 .01. so now let me increase the count to eight so here we can see we got this boxes aligned properly with some distance between them okay so now let's apply this modifier. So press Ctrl plus A to apply all these modifiers. So now all these boxes are combined together. You can see when we move, all the boxes will be moving. So we want these boxes to be as an individual box. So further press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Press A to select all the boxes. Press P and select them by loose parts. Just select this by loose parts. So now each and every box will be separated. Now press tab on the keyboard. And here, if I select this box, this will be separated, but the origin of this box is here. So now we need to set the origin now. So now let me select all the boxes here. So make sure all the boxes were selected. So now change this pivot point to individual origins. Okay, after that, come to this object, set the origin, origin to geometry. So now each and every individual box has a pivot points to its center. Okay. So this is important. Make sure to do this one. Okay. So now let's add rigid body property onto this box. So first let me select this box here. Come to this physics property. Add rigid body. 
type let it be active and rest and all i will leave like that only so now if i play this only that box will be falling down so now i need to copy this rigid body property to rest of the boxes so we can do that by single click so first select this active box where we have applied our rigid body and let us press b on the keyboard for box selection and select rest of the boxes here like this so make sure only the boxes are selected after that come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now if i play this you can see all the boxes are falling down so now let's make this ground plane as a colliding object so select this ground plane add rigid body but type change it to passive so now if i play this you can see all the boxes are staying there so let's bring this plane just above here so i think this much is fine this much of difference is fine make sure that this plane is not intersecting or passing through the boxes it should be just below to these boxes okay so let me increase the scaling of this plane so select the plane press s y and increase the ramp size here so now let's add a ramp here so again for that we'll be using a cube so go to this add mesh select cube here let me place this press z z hold control key and move it above to this plane now let's increase the scaling in x axis first so press s x and increase the scaling in x axis so this much of is fine now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode now select only this below axis here only select this below two axis select this move tool and let me increase the ramp here now select this above axis so make sure this above axis are selected and let me increase the height of this ramp so i think this much is fine now again press tab to exit this edit mode and let's bring it here so this much of distance is fine press t for sideways once again and make sure this ramp is not passing through the ground plane so now let's add a car model so here i got a car model from sketchfab download link in the description if you want to use the same so go to this file import it is an fbx file so select this fbx download and let me select this file and import so here i got this car model so let me increase the scaling and it is rotated here so press 7 for top view and let me rotate this just direct hold control key and rotate it here like this and press 3 for side view and let's place this just onto the ground plane okay so this much is fine so now let's animate this car first so i will place the car here so be on the first frame Add a keyframe for this car by pressing I on the keyboard and add a location keyframe. So now move 20 frames forward and bring it here so that keyframes are visible. And let me bring this car just before to this ramp and again add a keyframe here. So here we have added a keyframe. So you can see the speed is not constant here. So select both the keyframes, press T and select this linear. So now the speed will be constant, okay. So now let's select this car once again and add rigid body property for this. So come to this physics property and add rigid body and type let it be active. But here we need to enable this animated option because we have added keyframes, right? Or else this will fall down. So it is not falling down because of this ground plane. So this is restricting this car to fall down or else if the ground plane is not there, this car will be falling down. So since this car has got this keyframes we need to enable this animated option so now come to this last keyframe add this animated option and add a keyframe here so now move one frame forward uncheck this animated option and add a keyframe here so till 20th frame 1 to 20th frame this animation keyframe will work after 20th frame dynamic property will take place so that means our rigid body property will act after 20th keyframe so now if I play this, you can see it is passing through this ramp because the ramp is not set as passive object. So select the ramp, come to this physics property, add rigid property onto that, but type change it to passive. So now if I play this, you can see the car will be jumping down, but it is not hitting these cubes or it is not making a bigger impact on these cubes. 
so now let's increase this weight or mass so select the card let me increase the mass to 50 and now let me play this once again so now you can see we got our action scene done here so here if you want to reduce or decrease the friction of this ground plane you can do that so select this ground plane come to this physics property here we will get this surface response increase that let me increase the friction value a bit in the same way you can increase the friction values of this ramp car and other bodies here so once this is done next we need to bake this simulation so select any of the object here come to this scene properties come to this rigid body world expand this one come to this cache option so here we will be getting this bake option so here we will be able to see this bake option so before going to bake this we can set the scene frames here so here i want this simulation to be throughout the timeline so i will leave this from 1 to 250 so after that click on this bake button so if you want to have this in slow motion we can play with the value of this speed here if we change the speed of the simulation so for example let me change this to 2 so now if i play this we can see the speed of the simulation so now the speed of the simulation is less so at 2 we got this kind of animation so if i change this to 1 once again and now if i play this once again you can see the speed of simulation you can see the difference here so depending upon your choice you can set the speed of the simulation so i will change this to 1.5 let it be in between after that once you are happy with this simulation select any of the box pieces or any of the object here and simply click on this bake button so once the baking is done now we are ready to render the scene so suppose if you want to have this in slow motion at the time of impact for that we need to convert this simulation into keyframes so i will show you how to do that so before to that let me delete the bake here so in order to do that first we need to select all the objects so press a on the keyboard to select all the objects come to this object option rigid body and click on this bake to keyframes so simply click on this bake to keyframes so here this will add for start and end so i will leave this from start to end 1 to 250 only and click on this ok button so here you can see we got this keyframes that means the simulation is converted into keyframes now. so now let's see how we can make this slow motion at the time of impact so let me play this and at this point the impact is going to happen so here we need to select this car and this cubes here so select those things now from 40th keyframe right so let's select all the keyframes here leaving 1 to 40 keyframes now press z and let's increase the bit here, distance here so here you can see we got that slow motion still you want to get the slow motion we can increase the distance between them so i think this is fine so now if i play this so let me here so here you can see we got that slow motion so still if you want to have the slow motion at this moment again we need to select the cubes here and we need to select the car and again we need to bring the difference sorry now again select the keyframes here and press g and move the keyframes here like this so here also we will get that slow motion and at the end we will be able to have that so in this way we can create this kind of scenes in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye